Hello my friends and welcome back to my channel. Today we're doing something different and learn a new type of photography. We're going to do the blurry water shots. Oh my God, look at this. Anyways, the weather is really good. I have my sunscreen on and it's not hot at all. We are in Trenta in Slovenia. We have beautiful waters here and let's just go up. I have a tripod with me because it's necessary to use a tripod for this photography and i'm very excited because i've never done this before but also i'm gonna have to use <gasps> i didn't spritz myself for the ticks i'm gonna go back take two i am now hopefully protected from ticks because i do want to get meningitis we're gonna use manual today so we're gonna dibble dabble in this photography thing Hopefully I don't fall into water because I have like 2,000 euros on me right now. Look at the view and all the little pretty flowers. Oh, I like it already. Okay, up there it's even prettier. Oh, I can't wait to show you. Oh my God. Oh my God. These colors are just like this in real life. They're even brighter. What? This looks fake. This looks so fake. <gasps> oh my God. Is this variegated or is this like a virus? Look at this. This looks like a virus, admittedly. But how cool would it be if this was just variegated like this? People will call this mint variegation, I swear to God. Oh my God. <laughs> okay, I love the nature out here. We have like mini orchids. Wow, wow. Okay, good thing I have everything around my neck because you don't want to drop this. Look at the water. It's so pretty. Okay. Look how cute. Oh, I see a potential photo back there. We have to get back there. We're gonna set up a tripod here and we're gonna start to take photos of these waterfalls right here. I'm going to report on the progress you are literally joking. This is the first image that came out. Look at this fog. And then we have this one. Oh my God. This is like actual fog. This is insane. And so simple to do it. I figured this thing out very, very quickly. I don't know how I got the, the perfect shot. The first one. I cannot understand that. It's super simple. You just put the, the time on like two or three or four seconds and the ISO 200 and the F to the max. And I have timer two seconds so I don't shake it when I touch it. It's insane. It's so many possibilities. And there is an incredible photo I see I'm going to do here. Let me look, look, look. Okay. There is this spider web. Oh, and there's a spider in the back, right there. I'm gonna tell you, having your tripod with you, it's very unpractical, it's very annoying. I also put my camera in the bag every time I had to move, which was very annoying, but I didn't risk dropping it or smashing it on the rocks. So that's really uh, worth it if you ask me. The photos turned out incredible. I'm gonna put my favorites on here. I also have this little part showing you how different times of exposure change the image. And I saw that honestly the best photos were anywhere from one to four seconds of exposure or maybe even eight if it was really dark. I got a nice part of the day when it's a little bit cloudy and the sun is kind of setting down, so it's not too bright. If it's a problem for you to carry your tripod with you, honestly go somewhere where you can park very near and just stand it there. Like if you haven't done this with your camera yet, go try it because it's crazy. 
So on this day I went to the origin of Socha River. This is Socha River and it's pretty big and also very beautiful at some point. So it was good for photographing the water. I took my tripod again, which was a little more risky this time because there is parts where you just have to hold on to some wires to not fall on the rocks, but it was fun. I did take some cool photos of the water down there and then I did go right up there so I made a little vlog also on the top. We made it to the end of our path which is this. This is where the Socha river comes from. You can google it, you will see why the color is like this. Uh, I want to draw your attention to this spider web. Wow. Wow. This is how blue the water is. You, like, I don't understand how. This is the view. As you can see, the beautiful mountains. And then when you go up, it's all like, it's like this. It's crazy, but it's, it's really pretty. You wouldn't want to fall in here because it's very cold, but I do think you can get out of here. When there isn't a lot of water, it's a bit harder, but yeah. I'm gonna leave now. But look at how pretty this moss is. It's so cute. Yeah, and there was like two people. I saw literally two people. Look how cool. And it continues its path down there. Down there. That's really, really cool. This stabilizer needs to chill out. Let's go back. When I was going down, I put my camera away every time, obviously, because I don't want to drop it on the rocks. But I said, oh, I have to take a photo of this. And I made a photo, and then I put it away. And I'm like, okay, this was the last one. I see another plant. Oh, I have to take a photo. I did it like 10 times, and here are the images. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful nature. It's incredible, and I loved it so much. That was it for the day two of water photography. Some of the best shots are right here. Also I need to post this on Instagram. If you're enjoying the video so far, please help me reach my long time goal of having a thousand subscribers and getting monetized on YouTube by clicking that subscribe button down there and watching another video after this one. Thank you so much. Now let's talk about the night sky photography and this is the inspiration. I was obviously not gonna get this kind of images from this camera because it's not meant for that and also my lens are not for night sky photography. There were three nights and night number one, these are the images that I shot. I will not be telling you specific settings to get each of these because I was just trying different things really. I got this one amazing one that I couldn't really replicate and I like it except if the stars were in focus that would make it a bit better I think. But I like that it's like this was shot in full like night. It was the sky was completely dark and I still got this really blue sky. I think the exposure time was like 30 seconds. It was really cool. But then the rest of the photos were, were more like just mid really. Um, nothing crazy. Night two uh, the weather was not really it. It was cold and I guess the there was a lot of water in the air because my lens kept having condensation on them and I exposed it for 30 seconds and by the end there was already condensation on them and I wiped it away and I did it again and these are the images, they're all kind of blurry, all weird. Night 2 was not the best. Now let's skip to the night 3. Night 3 was really a clear sky. It was a bit cold outside so I didn't really stay there for a lot of time. But we got some cool photos, not perfect, nothing crazy. But I was just trying out things, I was trying to zoom out, I was trying to zoom in, I was trying to do manual focus and then autofocus, all those interesting things. I like the one where you can see the plane going across the, the, the screen. I can't get any more specific because each of these have different settings and, you know, Watch tutorials. I watched one, I got bored in the middle, but watch tutorials and it will help you. Bye.